Hi, welcome to this workout. Today we're going to do a full body workout. It's cardio and a little bit of toning, body weight only, but there are some floor exercises, so if you have a hard flow, make sure you have your exercise mat ready. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're starting straight in the warm up. So come on, step and swing. We do five warm up exercises. Like so, to warm up a little bit, get the blood flow going, heart rate up a little bit. And then we go over to the main exercises of today's workout. We're going to do 10 different exercises. Five in the first round, repeat it twice, and five after the water break in the second round, repeating twice. And we're starting with three cardio exercises and we finish each set with two toning exercises. And then we go to the floor for those. So three standing, two on the floor, repeating, then a water break. And of course, after two rounds, we finish with a cool down and a bit of stretch. Come on, just a few more swings with those arms, open up. And then we go to the lower body, doing knee tucks. Right, now, so what we're going to do is just walk in front, tuck that knee up to the chest, tuck it up. Little stretch, warm up, get the blood in the legs. In the main workout today, we're going to do 45 seconds on. We have a 15 seconds active rest to re-get your breath or transform from standing to the floor exercises and from the floor back up standing. So 15 seconds active rest in between the exercises today. So now we're doing that warm up. So make sure you don't go too fast, go on your own pace, keep your upper body straight, but make sure you're warming up, getting that heart rate up a little bit. Final knee tucks. And stretching up the calf. So big stand back, press that heel down, stretching, and in the same time, doing that arm rotation. Find your balance. So rotate that arm to the front. To the front and keep pressing your heel down. And then a reverse. Reverse circle. Keep pressing your heel down, big stand. Final circles on that right arm, and we're going to switch. Press that heel down back, left side, and arm circles to the front. Upper body straight, make sure that blood goes into that arm. And reverse the circle, keep pressing the heel down, stretching up the calves a little bit. And that's Eight, okay. Next thing you're going to do, hip rotation. So a little wide stand, rotating the hips from front to the side, back to the side. And after the hip rotation, you're going to do one final warm up exercise. And then we're ready to go over to the main exercises. Big circles, make sure you pop the hips out, press the hips forward, stretching up a little bit. And when you bring your butt back, lean over, stretching the hamstrings a little bit. So big rotations. And reverse to the other side. Opening the hips up. That's it. Keep your knees slowly bent. Rotate that upper body along. And the final ones. That's it. Okay, we're going into a little wider stand if you can, and then we're going to pulse, open up, pulse it, and to the other side. So press the knee out, open your hips, and we're warming up the quads and the glutes a little bit. So open and pulse three, one, two, three, and switch, two, three. That's it. One more on each side, and then we're going to do a few singles. Two, three, and single. Make sure you open up, stretching up a little bit. Going to do some lunges and squats 
in the main workout. So make sure you're warm and have that blood go in the legs. That's it. Okay, come on up, shake it out. And now we're ready for the main exercises. Five different ones in the first round, starting with the three cardio standing exercises. Going to do the seal jack, the high knee lunges, and then a double side crunch before we go to the floor. Just follow along and go in your own pace. We're starting with the seal jack, just a side step. We're bringing the arms front and side. So arms up, step to the side, and bring your hands to the front. Real big moves. So big steps, shoulders down, chest up, and bring your arms to the front and open up. That's it. 45 seconds, 15 seconds, active rest. So close, open, close, open. Step it, big steps. Don't lift your shoulders up to the ears. Staying proud, lift up your chest. Final seconds, don't lower your arms down yet. Keep it up, open, close. And now lower your arms down. All right, get your breath a little bit, but stay active. The next one is that high knee lunge. So what we're going to do is just stepping back in a lunge position and then that knee up. Then switching over to the other side. So here we go, left side, lift up. Right side, lift up, left, up. By going up and down, we keep the heart rate up, but we're toning our lower body right here with our own body weight. So step it back and bring that knee up all the way to the chest. Upper body straight up. Find your balance. Deep lunge or just a step if you can't make a deep lunge. Doesn't matter. As long as you keep your heart rate up. Down. Come on, almost there. One more on the other side. Knee up, and that's it. Next one is a double side crunch. Lifting the knee up, elbows going towards the knee, double on each side. So, right, get your breath a little. And then, arms are going up, left side first. Come on, double. And right. And left. Right. That's it, double on each side. Bring the knee up, elbow down, making a little crunch move. Keeping that heart rate up, making the steps. But in the meantime, working your obliques, our waistline, come on. So double left, 15 seconds. Left, double, right, double. That's it. Just a few more, come on, keep on crunching. Right. Finish on left. That's it. Now we go to the floor because we're going to do two toning exercises. First thing, triceps. So place your fingertips towards your heels. We're going to lift the butt up, lowering down to right above the floor, bending our arms. So lift up, lower down, and press. Up. So do not sit down and then press up. Just lower above the floor and then press. Working the back side of our arms for those 45 seconds. So go in your own pace, bend and press. Up. That's it, come on. 15 seconds left. Press it up. Working the triceps, lift your chest up. Up. Final five. Press it up. And down, one more, that's it. And then you're going to do side plank, 20 seconds on one side and just switch over. I'm switching over to that side, but you can just turn around to the other side, but I will not turn my back to you. So elbow under your shoulder and lift up your hips. Hold it just for 20 seconds on one side, working the core here. So lift open your chest, do not collapse. Open up and press the hips up. That's it. Final five seconds and then switching over to the other side. Right now. So lower down and turn your other way around and up again as fast as you can. 
Elbow under your shoulder, pressing the hips up. Just a few more seconds. And then we're going to stand up again, going over to the cardio again. So come on, keep the hips up. No, you can do this. And that's it. Drop it and standing up because we're going over to the trade cardio exercise. So we're halfway in round number one. Starting over with that seal jack again. So come on over, arms up and go. Step it. Arms close and open. Big steps, powerful moves. Come on, you want to get that heart rate up. Step, open, close, open, close. That's it. Chest up, shoulders down, belly in. Big moves, up. That's it. On your own pace. But keep that heart rate up and don't lower those arms down. Step it. Side to side. 10 more seconds. Step, clap, hop to the front and open. Final ones. And that's it. Lower your arms down. Stay active. And right, get your breath a little. Going over to that lunge with that knee up. Go as deep as you want or just stay up. But go now. Come on, down. Lift that knee up. Lift that knee up. Towards the chest. And keep your upper body straight up. So do not bring your chest down. Up that knee up. That's it. Drop it. Squeeze your glutes when you come up and then lift that knee up towards the chest. Up. Up. 15 seconds. Up. Down. Come on, keep going. Up. Final one. Drop it. Lift up. And the final cardio of the first round. Double side crunch. So, deep breath in, staying active. That's it, ready. Little wide stand, and go, double. Crunch it, crunch it. And double on the right, double on the left. Elbow down, knee up, make that little crunch move. Working your heart rate up, and your obliques, your waistline, in the same time. That's what we do. When we do full body, up, double, 15 seconds, up, double, double, come on, final ones, double right, finish left, and that's it, to the floor, two tonings, and then what a break. So we're going over to the tricep dips, Fingers pointing towards your heels. Chest is up. Lift up your hips and go down. Lower down. So press yourself up. Down and up. Do not cheat. Not sitting down. Just keep going on your own pace. So you can go down and up. Down and up. Or just Go a little bit faster. Come on, up and down. Ignore the burn, 15 seconds. Up, come on, don't quit. Keep going, down and up, down and up. Up, final seconds, that's it. Side plank and then water break. So 20 seconds on one side. Elbow is under your shoulder, feet on each other. We're pressing the hips up and keeping the chest open. Ready? Two, one, and go. Lift up. Tuck that belly and have your body in that straight line. Come on. Only 20 seconds on each side, so you can do this. Up, up, up. Five seconds, then we switch. All right. Now, come on, drop it. Over to the other side, and then hop, lift up again. 
Chest is open, hips up. Come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it. 10 more seconds. You can do this. Lift the hips up. Do not drop them down. Come on. Three, two, one. That's it, drop it down. Okay, slowly come up now. Because you finished the first round, it's time to drink some water and then prepare yourself for round number two. We do five new exercises. Okay, round number two, five new exercises, starting with three cardios again, and then two tonings. We're starting with a cross jack step. So we step and cross behind, and making a jack move with the arms. If you don't want to cross because of your knees, just make a side step and a regular side jack. Cross it, or do the regulars. Or just combine. It's your workout, so you can choose. Whatever you want, up. Come on, arms all the way up, all the way down. Time to get that heart rate up again. Big moves for 10 seconds left. And then 15 seconds, active rest. Come on, final steps. That's it, lower the hands down. Next one is a squat with a side step. So we're stepping out, making a squat from side to side, working the hips, the glutes. So here we go. Stepping out, making a squat, up, up. So stepping out from side to side, making that squat move. So really pumping it up and down, working that heart rate and legs and glutes all in the same time. So step it out and drop that butt down. That's it. Side to side. Up. Come on. Keep your back straight. You can bend over a little bit and squeeze your heels into the floor. Up. Final five seconds, so come on. Don't slow down now. One more. That's it. Next one is a double front repeater switching over. So come on, arms up, one leg back and double, hop, hop and switch, hop, hop, hop. So just double, tap it back. And of course, if you want to speed up, you can do more on one side before switching. But we do doubles, and then after this one, we go to the floor for two toning exercises. So come on, bring the knee up, and pump those arms up and down. You know what to do. 10 more seconds, double, lift up that knee, up, one more, and that's it. Okay, over to the floor. First one is a regular plank to the pike with tapping her knees, working shoulders, upper part of her back. So come into a high plank position and then press yourself into pike and then tap your knee up. So drop the hips down to your regular plank position, then hips are going up and find your balance, tap your knee up on your own pace working core shoulders up come on press up and tap your knees keep going tap it left up tap it right final ones up and up one more that's it. Okay, now come on the floor into a table position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, 
And what we're going to do is leg cross overs. 20 seconds on one side, 20 on the other. So make sure you tuck your belly in, stretch out one leg, and then just cross it over. Try to keep your hips still, lifting up that leg, working glutes, outer and inner thighs. So tap it, over. And one more. Switch over to the other side, cross it over, and tap to the side. Try to keep your hips still. Tuck that belly in, back straight, so do not twist all the way with your body. Just keep it still and work your glutes, inner out of thighs. Come on, final five seconds. Up, last one. That's it. And now come on up for five more minutes of workout. And my sweat is dripping already. So it's very warm in here. And we're starting with that cross jack again. So ready? Come on, go. Step it, cross. And most important, pump those arms all the way up, all the way down. Regular ones are with that little cross. Tap behind. Come on, up and down. 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest. It's the final five exercises. So we're heading to the end. So come on and finish strong. 15 seconds, come on. Up, down, up, down. That's it, big moves. Up and down, up and down. Final one. That's it. Over to that squat side step. Working lower body. So really catch your breath a little. Take a deep breath in and out. And here we go. Step it to the side. Squat it. Up, up. Small steps, not too wide, just small. And lower down. And that butt is going down. So you do not bend over. Then it's your back working. And we want to work the quads and the glutes are really pumping that heart rate up. That's it. Come on, 20 seconds. Just keep going. Up and down and down. Lower that butt and press the heels into the floor. Squeeze the glutes every time you come up. Final ones. That's it. Over to the double repeater, knee in, arms are going up and down. So already you get your breath. Final cardio exercise and then two toning ones on the floor and then stretching. So come on and go, double, switch, hop, double, switch, double, switch, double. Really pull that knee in and bring those arms down. Up, bend over a little, but keep your back straight, pull the belly in, come on, double front repeaters, up, double, double, 15 seconds, come on, pump those arms up and down, double, to the left, up, and final five, that's it, come on, we can do one more. That's it. Over to the floor, pike to plank, and then those leg lift overs. Almost there. Two more. So go to the floor and into that high plank position. Press yourself into pike and tap the knee. Up. And drop your hips down till you're in that high plank position. Then press the hips up again. Up and up. That's it. Find your balance. Press up and tap it. 20 seconds. Continue in your own pace. Come on, but don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. Up. Hips up. Hips down. Up and down. Final ones. Up. Last one, that's it. Okay, on your hands and knees, finish with that leg crossover. 
So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, on hip wide, on shoulder hub right, and then crossing over. Come on, lift and tap. So really lift that leg up and not low taps. Just lift up like you're lifting over because only then your glutes are add to this exercise only lower down. It's only inner out at size. Come on, switch over, lift up. Keep your back straight, tuck that belly in, lift and cross. Try to keep your hips still as possible. Really working inner out at size and glutes here for 10 more seconds. Come on, cross it over, cross it over. That's it, very well done. Time to stretch. So bring your knees out a little and then lowering that butt down on your heels. Walk to the front with your arms and then press your chest down to the floor. Let your head rest on your arms or on your mat. And there's the first focus on re-catching your breath, recover and stretching up a little bit. So press your chest down, try to bring your butt on your heels and then just enjoy this pose because you finished the workout and you can be really proud. So that's it. Slowly coming up and then bringing one leg to the front. So come on up and then one leg is going to the front and then we're pressing the hips down, opening up, stretching up the hips. And if you bend over a little bit, you can feel maybe a little stretch on your hamstring, your glute, but keep pressing your hips down. That's it. Opening up, stretching your hips. Just enjoy the stretching part after this workout. Keep pressing the hips down, really opening up. And then push yourself back. We're switching over. The other leg is going to the front. And then we're going over and opening the hips. So really press your hip down. If you want to sit up straight, it's fine. If you want to lean over and stretching your glute, hamstring a little bit more, it's also fine. Just feel your body and notice where you need that stretch the most. So keep pressing the hips down. Enjoy that stretch. And now press yourself up. And now we're going to stand up. You don't need your exercise mat anymore. One leg is going front, the other one is back. Not too wide, but wide enough. Stretching your legs and then with a straight upper body, we're going to bring the chest to the front knee. And with your rear leg, keep pressing your heel down. You feel that stretch on your calf. And by bringing your chest to your front knee with a straight back, you feel that stretch on your hamstring. So find that balance and feel that stretch. And then bend the knees. Going to do that same stretch on the other side. So other leg is in front. Press that heel down again. Find your balance. Stretch out your legs. And now with that straight upper body, we're going to bring that chest to the knee. Keep pressing the heel down, stretching that calf, and feel the stretch on your front hamstring. So bring your chest down with the straight back, so do not collapse straight and then down. You intensify that stretch. And that's it. Come on up, shake it out. Now we're going to stretch the quads. So need a wall or a table for your balance, just grab it. Otherwise, just grab your ankle, pull your heel towards your butt, that knee back, your hip forward, so you intensify that stretch. And if you can feel that stretch here already, just stay here. Otherwise, just pull your knee back, pressing your hips forward, and then intensify that stretch. And don't lock your standing leg. That's it. Feeling that stretch. We did some squats, some bends, and shake it out. Over to the other side. 
Find the balance again, heel towards your butt, knee to the front if you can feel it here. Oh, there goes my balance, and I get it. And otherwise, just pull that knee back, press the hips forward. Just do whatever feels good. Hold it a few more seconds, stretching it up and really shake it out. We're going to do one final relax finisher. Feet are loose on hip wide, knees are slightly bent. We're going to roll down slowly, just to release all the tension and roll down till it's still good for you, not feeling too much of a stretch. And then when you're down, just swing a little bit from side to side, releasing the tension out of your lower back. And then come and center, just shake out your shoulders and then slowly roll up, roll up, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking. And that's it. Very well done. You finished this full body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, leave a comment um, below this workout video. Give this workout a thumbs up if you really liked it, of course, and a thumbs up for yourself. Be proud and have an amazing day. Bye.